Can I have that mic for like two minutes? We didn't know they had a mic to this. Yield my time. It's already hard for us too, so we apologize. Well, uh, I'm Phil Martin. I'm running for re-election this year. Uh, thank you all for being here, and thanks to the sponsors. You know, it's uh, encouraging to us to see so much interest. Oftentimes, we go to these events, and you uh, speak to an empty hall, which isn't um, too encouraging for the candidates. But to see this interest, I think, speaks well to the city. Um, when I, I want to say a few things about public safety and neighborhoods. I would say uh, that it all begins with the budget. Um, and so how you have the most impact on public safety is through your votes on the budget. Uh, we've had a couple of tough budget years in a row now, but we have avoided laying off police officers in those budgets. It's been a very conscious decision um, by the city council to avoid layoffs of police officers to keep the commitment uh, to public safety. You know, back in the uh, early 90s uh, with the federal government, we increased the size of the police force by 100 about 100 police officers, and we want to keep that uh, commitment. Uh, we haven't been able to keep track of retirements. You know, retirement, people retire, we haven't necessarily backfilled, so we are down officers. And one of the ways we've dealt with that is kind of these force multipliers that the chief has put in place, partnering with the state police on uh, weekend nights in the downtown area, partnering with the sheriff's department on warrant, serving warrants on people. And that's had an effect in the neighborhoods. I think um, when we took a survey, if the police department took a survey last year, most people feel safe in their neighborhoods. I think that speaks well to our city, and that's something we want to keep our commitment to. And I think probably most important of all is the commitment the city has to its housing programs. That builds home ownership in neighborhoods. It leads to stability. People become invested in their neighborhoods. They're watchdogs uh, for the police. And we've had, uh, since I first ran, the two parole program, but there are other first-time home buyer programs that all contribute to enhanced public safety. So I'm proud of my record on that, and I hope you'd support me uh, for re-election. Thank you. Uh, thanks, everybody. I, I said that earlier, so do we only have a minute. I'll get right into it. But as I said earlier, I think uh, it all begins with the budget. This city council has kept uh, its commitment to the police department and public safety in the budget. Most departments saw layoffs in the year-over-year -year reductions we've had in state aid. The police department did not. We did not, however, keep our force numbers up. I think we've done a number of things that Chief LaValle deserves credit for that I spoke about earlier, the force multipliers and the partnerships with the state police and the sheriff's office are one way to keep our commitment to the neighborhoods being safe. Uh, another of things that the council did, like targeted overtime, when we haven't been able to keep the numbers of officers at a, as high a level as we would like. Um, so I think those budgetary th pressures are going to be with us, and we're going to have to look to continue to create, have creative solutions like we've had in the last couple of years. The other big thing, I think, is, is housing programs, which we talked about a little bit tonight. Had, investing in our housing programs, uh, 